Hey everybody, it's me again, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the common controls that uh, we use uh, to uh, in our app to interact with the users, okay? So I'm going to make this uh, uh, just a design only. There are no pro there is no programming at the, in this uh, video, but maybe in the next video what I'll do is that I'll show you how to use them. So go ahead and go open, create a new project, file new, and then call it common controls or common new. Oh, all right. Let's do that again. File new uh, project. And then here, single view app, iOS. Click on next and call that as common UI controls. Okay. And you click on next. <clears throat> okay. Save it wherever you want. And let's take a look at the storyboard, all right? In my storyboard here, I have my view controller. Okay, we haven't talked about view controllers much, but I have my view controller. And then I have these panels, okay? And this is maybe not showing, so if it's not showing, make sure this shows, hide it, the show and hide and show the utility. And uh, at the bottom here, we have uh, another panel, if you will, uh, it's structured like the first one. You have the uh, the uh, like uh, what you call documentation snippet of code, and then and then the object library. This is what we are interested in. Okay, so the the object library is divided into uh, several uh, controls or different uh, objects, if you will. Uh, the yellow ones usually are more complex and there are controllers, okay? Uh, we're not gonna cover those in here, but we're gonna cover some of these things that you, we use uh, on a, day, a regular basis to design our apps. So we have something called label, I'm gonna put a label here. We have something called a button, I'm gonna put a button here. We have segment control, we have text fields, we got slider, we got switch, uh, we got a few more here. We got activity indicator. Uh, we got progress of view. All right, and we have stepper here. And you got an image view. We'll talk about the image views later on. Okay, I'll just put an image view too, so we'll cover most a lot of the common ones. Okay, and then we have an image view. I'm just gonna put it here and resize it. So we can see what it looks like. Okay, maybe we can put it here. All right. And I'm going to hide this object list now and then just show you the code assist so we can see what these are. Okay, uh, the, uh, these common controls, what are they and what do you use it for? For example, label, we've used it uh, before. It's it's used to show information to the user. And then uh, these controls are divided into either you can connect them using only outlet or you can connect them using outlet or controls. Some of these like labels are only outlets. So when you can try to right click and connect it to the view controller, you'll see that it's called outlet only. So it means that you can, you can change the value, but there are no action associated with it. Some other controls, for example, like buttons, you can do both. You can do an outlet and an action, okay? What is the difference? Outlet, if you wanna change, for example, the look of the button, you wanna change the text value, you wanna change the background color, uh, all these, kind. you wanna hide it, you wanna show it, so you use outlet, okay? So you can click on, for example, you make one called button one and then outlet, right? Uh, the, what about the other one? The other one is that you do an action. An action is uh, uh, triggered by, uh, like you're interacting with the screen, the user is interacting with the screen. And the default one, usually the most common one that you use, is the one that is selected for you. There are usually, there are many, you can see all of these, but the one that works best with that control is usually selected for you, which I leave alone. So you give it a name of the action, click me, for example, okay. And you just connected, okay. Uh, 
how about this one? This one is called segmented control. Segmented control is different. Segmented control, it can be an outlet, it can be an action too. And uh, segment control is that you're giving the user uh, a choice of selection. And so you can select, uh, in this case, we have only two selections, but you can make it different selections by clicking in here and say, look, I wanna make these have three selection. So each one of these has an index. So this is the first one. This is, so then the second one and the third one, okay? So, and then you can change their value in here, the title, okay, whatever you wanna say, three, for example, ABC, whatever you wanna call it, right? So it changes. So these segment control, and you can actually do the same thing with a button and action here. So you'd see here's an, an action. And one of them, instead of the uh, uh, clicked inside or touch up inside, you have something called value change. That means that every time you can, if you click on one of these options, you trigger an action and it will call that functions that you connected uh, in your code, okay? So that is used to give the user different options. You have the text field. The text field, again, it can be an action, an outlet, but most of the time it's used as an action. I'm sorry, as an outlet to to receive to 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 get the values that the user the value that the user entered. Okay, uh, if, if you wanted to do an action, you can put. Did you see that editing that end, that end, which means that you're typing in that field, you resign first responder, you went to another text field, and this function will be triggered. Okay, um, so if you're doing validation, if you're doing um, if you want to store some value or if you want to go to a server and come back while the user is typing to save time, this is one way to do it, okay? Uh, this one is called a slider. A slider is an action and an outlet too. Uh, an outlet to get the value of what the user has selected. An action is to see when they change the value. So you can say here, for example, uh, an action here you see that value change similar to that segment control so you can you can you can figure out when the user has you know moved this up or down okay and in this one usually has a range of values okay so you have uh you can start i want to start with zero and i want to go to one and the uh, it's set to 0 0.5 right now okay and um, or you can say i want to make it to from one to 10, okay, and now it will, it will, uh, it will, uh, so you have the range from one to 10, and then you can give it a given point where you want it to start, so if you want to start in the middle, you can make it equal five, now it starts there, okay, so you can slide it back and forth. Okay, so that is the slider. Okay, the other one is that you have the, uh, a switch, which is, as its name suggests, it is either on or off. You can use it for things like male, female, um, the, the uh, citizen, non-citizen, things like that, okay? Um, and then again, this is only an outlet, okay? Oh, it's actually wrong. An action too, because you can do monitor for the value is changed, okay? Uh, the the other thing that you have here, which is the activity indicator, uh, right now it's set to you can different style. You can do white or large white. If you make it large white, of course, with a light, well, white background, you can't see anything. Okay, what is this used for? It's used for to tell the user that you're working, you're processing, your application is doing something. Okay, it's trying to connect to the server, or whatever, right? So there are things that are here are important, animated and hides when stop. So when you click on animated, it actually, uh, it's running, okay, it, 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 it's turning, okay. Uh, when you hides it, it means that what, it means when it stop animating, it disappears. And this is typically what you want, okay. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, this activity indicator is like a label, you can't really, Oops. If you right click on it and do this, you don't have action. It's only at out, an outlet. What can you do with it? You can stop it, you can start it, you can hide it, okay, things like that. Okay. Uh, 
progress bar. Progress bar shows the user how much work has been done so far. So if you're downloading images, you're doing some processing, so and it takes time, so you can use this progress bar. Now you can make your own progress bar and that takes uh, programming and, and, and graphics, so it might not be as easy. Okay, progress bar, it's usually uh, an outlet only, okay, because there is no, you don't interact with it. It just shows the user how much work has been accomplished, okay. Um, uh, there is something that you can set here and see right now and say set to the values that you can with the progress bar it give you a, a value between if I can select it uh, give you a value between zero and, and zero and, and one okay and it is uh, 0 0.5 or you know it's like default uh, what do you call it uh, double number or float number okay and the last thing is, not the last, we have one more, is that we have this thing called um, the segment control, uh, not segment, stepper. Stepper, for example, every time you click on plus or minus, you can increase the value. Right now, I have it set to start with zero to a maximum of 100. And then you can, uh, you can change how much you want to increment every time you step. So, for example, if I click on a plus, I will add five every time or minus you subtract minus with this one again what do you have you have an action and an outlet because you're interacting with it so an outlet if you want to get the values okay uh, an action also you can get the value but a value change most likely right okay because you're changing the value all right again in the other videos I'll show you how to uh, use these controls okay we'll come up with different scenarios throughout the videos and show you how to use this control the last one is pretty simple it's an image it's an outlet okay and then image of you and then you can set the image the in here or set it in your code okay so you can say what image if you have an included an image in your program it will be uh, listed here and then you can select it from the list all right, so this is a quick look on the different controls that are available in uh, Xcode. Uh, I know this was quick. Uh, the purpose here is to just to give you a flavor of what these are and not uh, too much in depth. Uh, as we go move along, we will use these in our apps and we'll get in more details uh, on how to use these applications, these controls. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video.